oh no guys, what's going on? I got parts on this side, I got parts on this side, my EcoBlast TH broken. Okay, I need to sit in for repairs. Luckily, I have a one year limited warranty. Alright, see you later, Osmo. Just kidding. Okay, so the EcoBlast T8 is the most modular well, vacuum I have on this channel, and I'll explain all the modular parts you can set up for the T8. Self everything bin, vibrating mopping head, two different extractor designs. You got the extractor combo brush style, and you also have the inlet suction only. Great for pet hair. Last thing, you have two different mopping modules. This is the regular electronic mopping water module, but you also have an electronically vibrating one as well. Very, very cool. You also have washboard mopping pads plus disposable mopping pad options. Oh my gosh. And lastly, this guy has a self emptying bin. So before I show you all the cool components, I want to thank this person. I'll put it right here. Let me bust out my awesome smartphone, the Galaxy Note 9. And we'll just pull up this username or this user. We've been chatting back and forth, and basically here's the comments or the, uh, what do they call it, the what, email exchange, messaging exchange, who knows, I'm old, I have no clue what the new lingo is. But anyways, as I scroll down, we've been talking about the new self emptying bin, and we've been discussing if the T8 is basically the Osmo Pro, which I stayed last in my box video, or my unboxing video. Alright, so yes, let me show you that the T8 does work with the new self emptying bin and also the new vibrate mopping module. So I'll put up the video of the vibrate mopping module right here. And you can see that there's a power jack and there's also a port for the electronically controlled mopping module or mopping pump. So look at this, folks. It's right there. You see that little uh, kind of fancy jack port thing? This is actually a power cable port for EcoVax and it actually powers the vibrating motor. Very cool. So yes, this T8 model does work. And then on this side is the, for the pump. Very, very cool. Now, I want to show you something else. If I open up the flappy lid thing, take out the dust bin. Oh. Okay guys, here's how the self-emptying bin works. You notice these two little plastic tabs right here? This is actually removable. Look at this. Watch. I just poked out the hole. And you can do it for this side as well. Now I got the self-emptying option already on my robot. I just need to get the fancy dustbin, which will come with the self-emptying bin. So, what this guy says basically it should come around June or so in his country. But hopefully it comes around that time in the USA. Okay, let's talk about the self-emptying bin design. On previous Ecoback robot vacuums like the R98 and like the D77, they actually had the extractor port right here where they had like a little cutout and it just pulled out the debris. But unfortunately when I tested it, it didn't work so well. So now they actually have dual extractor ports down here which makes it more efficient. Kind of like what all the Roombas have, but they have a single port, but it's dual. So I'm excited to see how well the self-emptying bin works and if it can compete with the iRobots version. Now, I did look at this window. I thought it was a sensor behind it. So I did take the robot apart. Unfortunately, there's nothing behind it. It's just held on by some sticky glue, and I thought it could be either be an NFC chip or it can be magnetic. So guess what? Metal screwdriver, and it's, no, it's not magnetic. So it's probably like some kind of NFC chip, or it's just nothing. All right, so that's just a quick look at how the self-emptying bin will work. Uh, one thing that he showed me was his uh, blog. I'll actually put the link in his blog down below. Unfortunately, it's in Chinese. So if you know Chinese, great, but he has some awesome pictures about the T8 he got. It's basically overseas version, but on his box it says the Osmo Pro. I was wondering if mine is basically the same model as his, mine is the Pro version. But I did do some investigation, and yes, this model does work with the self emptying bin and also the vibrating popping attachment. Alright, that was just a quick look at the modular design of the T8 and T5. Now, one thing to know is the T8 just has the AIBI front facing camera, whereas the T5 doesn't, but they both will work with all these accessories and the vibrating mopping module and the self empty bin. Well, that help explain everything that's going on with the T-Series. Looks like EcoVax is going with the modular route, adding additional accessories to the robot vacuum. Alright, so stay tuned for the self empty bin once I get it, and I also will do head-to-head -head challenges with the Roblox, the Roombas, and also the Prescenic M7 Pro. Alright, see you later.